we are Chess Stars. We have a fantastic contest for you today. We have the um, international master Orkan Avlov from Azerbaijan versus international master Guillermo Dominguez from Mexico. First time in the contest. It's going to be a great battle today. So log in, which is free. Join the contest uh, by clicking the prompt that says click here to compete. You may be asked for credits. Go ahead and confirm to join the contest. And every time you join, you get 100 crowns to play with, and you get another 5 in every move. Select your stake. You can choose 5, 10, or 100 crowns for every guess. And when you get the move right, you'll get a fantastic reward. And we're going to give you help, educational, commentary, computer analysis, and hints on every move. You get $50 for the best result, and even 10 for the worst, and additional cash prizes on every game. So here we go. We have today's uh, game... We have Chess Stars President, Sasha Starr, and Correspondence Master Michael Hoffer to call the game. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. The game is starting, and Abdullah played e4, as was expected. So now, uh, what do you think will be done? I think we're maybe looking at a Nidorf today. Very possible, unless um, uh, Guillermo wants to surprise everybody. No, so far it's okay. So we're going into Nidorf, right? Well, working sometimes, uh, I think his experimenter was C3, but I don't, I don't think he's afraid. I think we're going to have a main line. Ah, yeah, most likely, yes. Yeah, so far, so good. And um, now we expect D6. And then if Abdullah watched your lecture, then he would play C3. <laughs> 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 Right, he did not. So don't be worried. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, D4 is expected, most likely. Yep. Actually, Yorkin and I talked about that position. He has played the C3 Bishop E2 thing. He sent me one of his games. Mm hmm. So, is. Um, Guillermo will play like Yuri Sodovich and Knight F6? Nah. No, no, no. We hopefully don't have those mad transpositions today. Yuri makes me dizzy. <laughs> well, Yuri is killing everybody by playing Knight F6. <laughs> you know, like thousands of crowns were lost. <laughs> well, you know what he did to my student, Jan Lin? He went and played uh, E4, then Knight C3, then Knight G2, making it look like a close Sicilian, then played D4. Went right back in the main line. <laughs> and my kid's nine yeah. years old. It totally confused him. <laughs> well, look at first hint is e5 and second, but knight f6 was played like everybody would expect. And now in this position, did, did you look at the move uh, instead of knight c3, f3? Oh, you got some inside information? <laughs> no, just in case, just checking out. <laughs> I don't think it's a dangerous move or anything. No, and I don't think he'll play it in the next move. I think he'll push a different pawn. Yeah. So, uh, there's a a6, of course, very popular, knight c6. Hey, we're in first and second, man. Mm. Oh, really? And you're first, wow. Amazing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> And so far, there were no surprises. Everything is going according to the book. Now, 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 now there could be some deviations. For example, there could be bishop e2, like Carper used to play, and get Boom! And h3, bravo, Michael. You scored ha, three. Ha, ha, so we have ha, ha. in Atra Bully. I need to not you prepare more often. Sit down. <laughs> h3, brilliant. Well done. I need to not prepare more often. <laughs> so, what are you expecting? E6 or E5? I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'm, I always lose on 50-50 moves. Always. And, and, you know, that's a dirty little secret about Las Vegas. They yep. did a point spread to end up 50-50 because they know that degenerate gamblers are chronic losers, and they will pick the wrong one. And I'm one well, of those degenerate gamblers. H3, 
doesn't mean that he will play G4 now. Yeah, and I didn't get it in. So. Exactly. Okay, so now we have a choice of uh, D5 is a decent move, H6, 2. So interesting what Guillermo will play. Yeah, that uh, we, we, we've seen a lot of this kind of setup lately in different openings. We saw it with uh, Gadir and Amin. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it was, uh, it was Yuri and uh, Yuniski. It's kind of like right. this. Yeah. Okay, Bishop E7 was played, and there are seven winners. Yeah. So obviously people expected this move. And Marion's in the lead now. We j I just went... By the wayside. Well, here he comes. And I clicked it too late. G5, yes. Let's go for a cup. And knight fc7 for sure. Oh, yeah. There's no other move. <sighs> There's one hint, knight g8. <laughs> you don't want to describe that. Okay, so now white has... An easy game. I think H4 definitely deserves attention. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bishop. Oh, look at this. Bishop G2 massively on one big 520 crowns. Nenatra Bully 130. And Peter Abuli 130. Wow. Ah, the wonderful. family Abuli got a good win on this move. Nice. Yeah. And um, the problem is that black cannot venture taking on g5, yeah? No. Knight c6, so maybe now h4. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, should be played because, you know, you don't want to get pawned for nothing. Okay, so it was played. Yeah, so now we have castle, right? Ooh, here we go. All right. That's how Nainod got that. All right. So the whole uh, Robula family prepared very well today. Yes. Excellent preparation. So we have a pretty tight race uh, here. Okay. So now H3 or F4. Nope. No? Nope. What seems to be played? Bishop E3. Mm -hmm. Boom! Yes! Oh, it's Boom. only 146 crowns! Oh, everybody's on it. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, suggested move here is 9G to E5, rook E8. 9D5 mm -hmm. looks normal. Yeah. Team Hispanic. Hmm. Team Barbara Rojas. No, we have a lot of Team Hispanics here. <laughs> well, here. They're, they're hiding. They're not on the board. Well, yeah, I was just about to say that. I'm glad you said it before I opened my big mouth. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that was not too difficult to observe. So um, what, do, what do Matsi Leon and Marion Tudor Ash eat for breakfast? Okay, no winners? Wow. How that's possible? So you that's think that's a, that's not a very good move, that's how. Uh oh. Queen takes. Oh, gone it. I'm yeah. so dumb. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I should I should have realized the worker would do that. No! Now I have a mouse slip? I tried to put in B5 and it stopped at B6. Oh, really? This is not Okay, good. so what do you think will be played? B5, Room for sure. B5, yeah? You're not scared of moves like E5 or so? No, I'm just scared that I just blew 100 crowns on a mouse slip. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. Okay, now you're right, B5. 
So what Orkan is going to do here A4. is to do something creative. Let me get this one get this. right. There we go. <sighs> mic, 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 mic. Okay, so what do you think will be played here? It's, it's A4. A4. Yeah, it's only begging to be played. Oh, H5, like you're, not, you're not crazy about H5 or Long Castle? I don't think so. What other ideas here? Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it seems to me that uh, H3 I don't like. F4. F4. So All right. Okay, so I forest played, and now they're looking at possibly b4, b should be 7, huh? I like b4, it's the first hint. I went with bishop b7, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting to do the play it. Oh, rook b8, and look, we have last cost much 380 crown, and oh, so wow. is no annual tombs. That's amazing. All of the Zelda won That's amazing. Wow, well done, boys. Okay, so what to do now? One idea is a3 to stop advance, maybe pass through, long pass through, of course. Yeah, yeah I, th I, I think that's what he might do. Uh, this position has become very interesting. Hmm. Black is totally set up to stop opposite side castling, and he might do it anyway. Mm, yeah. Well, the first thing is Queen G2, of course. Yeah, that's what I went with, Nanad. And Ector, Queen D2, that's what I'm afraid of. So, I've been terrible in the 50-50s. It's guys like me that make Vegas rich. <laughs> no. <laughs> Long Castle is uh, first line, first move. And that is saying that it's going to be Long Castle. Rook G1? That, that, that's like a that's compromise that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> rook g1, so you, you, you will keep your king in the center after rook g1. Yeah. And your center is not well protected, by the way. So you might as well. Uh, rook g1, very unlikely. Knight e2, knight e2. Oh, I get the knight, king f1. Well, if you want to take uh, a prize for worst predictor, maybe. F1 is to, to play. He wants the Mexican to win, man. That's why he's suggesting goofy moves like that. <laughs> ah, I see. By the way, Nenad has rating here over 2600. So, <laughs> of course, he's a very strong player. Who, who, who disagrees with that? Yeah. Okay, so Black can play B4, Knight C5. He's over 2600? Is that what you said? Yes. Oh my God! Oh, no, he oh, wins God. all and every tournament, and regardless whatever whatever uh, game we play, the scramble chess, the random chess, it doesn't matter. He wins it all. Well, you know, okay. my my lecture was had tr incredibly complicated tactics in it, and then I saw almost all of them. Yeah, agree, agree. Yeah, it was really well done. You know, just shined. Yeah. Okay, so let's play now. Uh, A5 is almost begging to be played. Although E5 looks interesting too. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's sad. done all of his preparation moves on your queen side attack so far, so yeah, there we go. Yeah, that was lost. And now the answer. Is h5 uh, or king b1? And I think it's h5. Yeah, white has to actually hurry up because you sort of started. 
Paul Karras taught me who's ever pawns hits first wins. considered, yeah. This is uh, actually a very tactical position. Hector is right. It is tactical position, of course. So what's happening here? Is there any reason that H5 would be a bad move? According to Stockfish, but not according to me, according to what I learned as a young boy, you got to get those pawns rolling an opposite side castling, you're going to get killed. Mm -hmm. Definitely h5. I don't know what he's thinking about. The first king is king b1, one of those moves everybody plays uh, for white, king b1 at some point. But I'm not sure whether it's now. Well, it's hard to say. Position is very complicated. What makes this position complicated is that it's completely unbalanced and asymmetrical. I love all that stuff. That That's exactly what I love, and I think Orkin likes that too. I don't know much about Guillermo, but looks like none of these guys are afraid, which is cool. Well, it looks like Guillermo is not afraid. He's playing very sharp line. Looks like he's well prepared. And he's not scared, which is good. Yeah. Good for him, not not uh, for Orca. Oh, okay, right. so he's done H5, good. He played the box room, it's amazing. <laughs> okay. And the best answer to wing attack is a counter thrust in the Sinter. Yeah, it's about time to, yeah. to play some lucky five. It is about time. Yep. And look at that. Stockfish agrees with me. Wow. Yeah. By big margin. Yeah. Seven back is queen c7. No, but I think I'm wrong. Five. <laughs> I... Never mind the hole on t5, which will be created. But. And Nidorf players are used to that. Yeah, absolutely. Who, who would be scared of the holes? They're playing for a checkmate in this position, right. not for the holes. Jesus Garcia says, go, Dominguez. Of course he goes. There's no doubt about that. He goes big time. Yeah, he's doing very good so far, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, position is about equal. Mm -hmm. Now, the second hint is A4. And also queen c7 now. So queen c7 is the second hint. But e5 was played. Yes, we were all expecting that move. And now definitely queen d2. Can't yep. be played. Another box move fork, and it's easy when you have box moves. Yeah. Saves you time, energy. Yeah. Yeah, box moves can be good. I like White's position. Yeah, yeah, White, White is doing okay. No, it's nothing spectacular, by the way. It's all basically theory, but uh, it's good. And if Black would take after Queen D2 on F4, should it take or not? I was wondering about that. Kind of looks uh, like. Uh, it might be helping white. Well, the other move is knight b6. Yeah, in move. fact, it does help white. He's not going to do that. He's going to play knight b6. What about a4? Do you like it? Yeah, actually, that might be... Yeah, Sasha, that's definitely the move to uh, pick for the contest, I think. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's purple. Oh, he so did take. Oh, work. my God. Now, what to take it with uh, knight? Or, well, yeah. knight probably to get knight or to defy. Yeah, so. that's a big mistake, I think, what he just did. There's mm -hmm. going to be open lines to the black king now. He did all that to take on g5. He's going to give up the, G, the d6 pawn. So he's giving up a center pawn for a wing pawn. And 
his king will be naked in public in front of small children and Orkan Abdulov. <laughs> without without any compensation. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, he played that too fast. No, but uh, I've seen similar positions where Brett actually captures uh, on F4. Not, 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 I'm not too sure. Oh my god, really? Oh, oh, I expected not to take. So, so did I. It doesn't want to give up uh, the small of G5. Really? Uh, really, Orkin? Mm. Really, Orkin? Yeah, because now I think after knight G5, that is all right. Orkin, that was a golden opportunity, man. Oh, wow. Knight F4 was very natural move, trying to get uh, yeah. to G5. Okay, anyway, the game goes on. So now we are looking at um, Bishop H3. Three. The pieces don't flow now like they, they did if he'd have taken with the knight. Everything is, oh man, I, I'm really disappointed in that move. Yeah. G6, no winner. How come nobody put I almost, you know, I was going to go with that, but I was trying to channel my inner orc and it wasn't coming up. Uh, he's going to take that. Or should he? Yeah, he's going to take that. With which pawn? H? Yeah. Well, it's debatable. Queen C7 is definitely... We're still got the naked king. I can't believe nobody had G6. Wow. Yeah. At least one person should put five crowns yeah. on G6 and grab the pawn. So what to do now? Interesting. Queen C7. Oh no, we're all in trouble. Husayev has arrived. Hi, Gadir. Oh. <laughs> uh, Gadir Husayev, he will he'll start fresh. He has no regrets. He just attended a wonderful wedding by his teammate Eltash Safari. So obviously he's in a good mood, enthusiastic, fresh. Oh, that's right. The wedding was today. I was thinking it's tomorrow for some reason. Okay. Well, well how could he miss the contest? <laughs> yeah, free money for Gadir. <laughs> Do you think Gadir knows this position? Yeah. <laughs> Very naive question, right? <laughs> mm. Maybe. So, what will we play? I'm, I'm surprised that Prince 7 is by far the strongest hint. Well. Guillermo maybe is feeling a little pressure here, as you and I discussed. Okay, look at Marian Tudorache won big 1,967 crowns, and Novak Pizzelli won 98 crowns. Oh, big time! Marian Tudorache today is a big winner. Congratulations. Okay, then what? Well, check. You can never miss check. I would not miss the. I wouldn't botch the opportunity to get that in now. What is stock for? What? That's a bad move. Stock for no, taking is no, a bad no, move. No. Really? I'm surprised. Bishop H3 is seriously considered to be here. I think stockfish uh, drug test for stockfish, please. Minus seventy three on G takes H seven. Really? Yeah. Really. Really. Okay. I want some. to see that yes. later. I can't believe that evaluation. But he did play the move. Wow. Okay, we have Marcel Leon, the big 500. Now, it, interestingly enough, there are four winners of this, including mm -hmm. even another star. But um, it was the first line. I'm surprised only four people considered that move. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. That come that type of position comes up in the Kings Indian where Black plays Bishop H six. Oh, uh, I know what he's gonna do. I'm getting the whole pool here. Well, obvious move is Bishop takes H three, but do you think he will play differently? Yeah. Like uh, yep, not yep. Uh, Bishop H three, maybe. Yeah. I think he'll play Bishop takes H five. Really. Mm. I'm a degenerate gambler, man. I make Vegas rich. <laughs> uh, I believe that he will put uh, Marian put 100 crowns on that move, on uh, Bishop G4. Wow. So what's now happening? Bishop H three is definitely the first team, but also yeah. yeah. There, I'm going down the drain. Okay, can we get a little switch concern here? You know the next move. We're gonna put five thousand crowns in that one. What G takes H seven? Oh. No, Rook H three. Wow. And now the first thing is bishop to f6, really. You want to give up your, your pawn, although there will be some crazy moves like knight c4. Okay, what else is here? Rook c8 is another interesting move. And what else? And, uh, queen c8. c8. I like queen c8. X-rays the king hits the rook. I don't like it that it, that it keeps the rooks connected, though. Mm, yeah, it's hard to say what will be played. Uh, Bishop f6 was first uh, first hint just uh, a few moments ago. Now it's the third. Actually, rook c8 makes a lot of sense. Yeah, but queen c8 is nice because you're attacking the rook. <laughs> hard to resist. Yeah. Resist. Also, if knight will go to c4, then queen defense protects the knight on c4. I don't know how important it is. A4, hey, and Dushan Milojevich won 1130 crowns, bravo! Counter attack. Okay, so now we are expecting Jesus Christ. Knight d4, which is the first hint, and a very natural move. A to f5, c6, protects b3, although it's well enough protected already. What else? Queen d5, and another hint, and king b1. I don't like, and if he never played it before, why right. would he not? So I d4 most likely he played. Yeah, he also never played g takes h7 before. Yeah, <laughs> so maybe it's cunning. But why do you push the pawns that far to just leave them? Oh, it's a psychological, just pressure on your <laughs> opponent. <laughs> I think a4 one of those moves, just to, yeah, just to scare your opponent to death. Oh wow, in the meantime we have three people just joined chess stars, Alfreda Organ, Alexis Gomez, and Luis Emijares. Interesting if they are going to enter the contest. Gee, they don't sound like Hispanic names, do they? <laughs> no, <laughs> but they don't sound German either. <laughs> <laughs> or Russian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not Russians, that's for sure. Okay, so what's happening is, oh, finally he did play. All right. Four. No, I know what's going on. Okay, so bad. we're looking at uh, b3 hint, knight c4, and bishop f6. Now, is that time to play b3, just to give up after what you got? <coughs> <coughs> I kind of like the symmetry of it. 
Maybe not C4 after all. And bishop f6 cannot be ruled out. Although maybe it's inferior move, but still, why not? Do you think one day white will take pawn in h7? Mm. What is going to happen this game? <laughs> I think Stockfish has a better idea of that than I do. Oh, Bishop F6 was played, actually. Six one. Okay. Now, now, time to get aggressive. Maybe, just maybe, Knight F5. Yep. For sure. Oh my god. I forgot to change my wager. Mm, hey, I'm sure he's going to play 9 of 5. Yeah, it's, uh, so far it's uh, far the strongest hand. Are you following this uh, Grand Chess Tour in London? No, I haven't been. What have I missed? Uh, nothing interesting so far. They, they, they drew all their games yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and there was, there was nothing happening today. They didn't play. Wow. That's really strange. They played first round and every day off. You know, you, you pointed out something important, I feel. Yes. Uh, chess, so, sometimes things about it can be boring and... What you've done with this contest is just the exact opposite of boring. This is exactly what chess needs. Getting people involved and making it fun and educational. And you're brilliant well, for this. Thanks, Mike. Well, I think that the whole point is audience participation. Because when you watch the broadcast of uh, these big tournaments or so on, it's very interesting, very instructive. But... Uh, you don't feel like you're part of the process. You're right. just watching, and that's it. And here, you're the big part of the process of what's happening, actually, uh, in, uh, in the game. And you're playing your own game, trying to outsmart your opponents. And you can win some money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, Nate Mate is praying on, on his text. Amen. And I agree. Amen. <laughs> I think so you have a lot of opportunities. Just enjoy the game, uh, watching uh, what's happening here. Check your knowledge of theory and positions, and make some predictions. And maybe you get lucky and you'll win something. Nathaniel Toms, the Tim Tebow of California. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see, who else do we have? Yuri is still in the hunt. Gadir hasn't hit the board yet because he came in late. Uh, yes, but, but watch when Gadir will put five crowns on a move which nobody else will predict, and he will grab a couple thousand crowns. Yeah, and especially go other couple of moves. Especially since go. Orkin is not in the contest. He's the other guy that does that. Okay, so that was played. Okay, and now what? Now G6. He's not very, very well protected, okay. but he's not well protected. Right, right, right. That's why he played bishop f6. So, uh, maybe, just maybe, he will play b3. Yeah. Box or you move. Think Box move. He must do something very active and very fast. Tim Tebow's a man. we got to love Tim Tebow. There's nothing not to like yeah. about him. Michael, if you think about it, that would be a very interesting position if uh, B3 and, um, well, White must take that, obviously. Obviously, he must take, and, and uh, I think I don't know which pawn will take it. A pawn. Yes, A pawn. Oh, look at stock for seeing the C pawn, really? Hmm. <laughs> wow. Well... Well, I've seen it done. But you don't expect uh, pawn g6 takes to h7? 
No, I, I tried. I already wasted hundreds of crowns on that as a switch because it <laughs> never happened. And when you gave now up, you're me, me, now you're giving me PTSD and flashbacks on it. That's very cruel, Sasha. Uh, <laughs> it, it's cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, why would you rush your pawns all the way down there just to leave them? It makes no sense. Yeah, you see, we are arriving at, at the position where every move is extremely important. Yeah. Every single move. Well, the thermometer just dropped significantly. And he took the Okay, seat. as you All right. see, All right, then. on C takes, you see? All right. Okay. No, in that move for sure. Yeah. Okay, so black stuck some stitches <coughs> on the queen side, white skin somewhat exposed, somewhat, just very little, but at least. Okay, and now, now he's going to do it. <laughs> now uh, he's going to do it. Well, Stockfish doesn't think so. Hmm. But one day, he, will, he must take on h7 one day. Okay, no. Yeah. Stockfish says he's going to take on b3. I think he is. Stockfish yeah. hasn't been wrong about Urkin yet. Okay. Fine. So what's now? Okay, we have first king, queen e8. Really? Queen e8. Right. Such an important move. Surprising to me. Rook A8. Even Rook A8. Or logic. Maybe he should make it easier for uh, Orkin and take on, H on G6. <laughs> he will make it easier for everybody. Not yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. But he never did it, so why would he do it now? Because uh, he's got the night. I don't know. I, he, mm. He gets a pawn out of it, doesn't he? But I'm and, and, and it's not so dangerous now. But look, the first king is queen e8, and uh, I, I, not, I, don't, I don't grasp uh, the niceties of this move, really. Where it's going? What, no, to e6? Like where? Maybe? Okay, what else? Rook d6, protecting pawn. Okay, that makes some sense. And queen c8 as well. You see, check, runs into rook c3, possibly. Hmm. I don't know, for some reason, I, I liked before rook a8, but it's no longer in kings. Okay, no winners? Three. <laughs> Really? How come? That's unusual. Um, I would play rook c3 automatically. Really? That would be relinquishing uh, attack, wouldn't it? True, true. But uh, it attacks the queen and asking him to make another move. You could ignore that and play H takes G6 anyway. Maybe. Yes, no, I was very interested in this. It's very sharp to see. Oh, I'm playing. And you get C3 in the Okay. So now we're looking definitely at Queen E6. This is a crazy position. Another hint is room B5. Now room B5, it's a little bit... Uh, e6 attacks on B3, okay, that makes sense. I'm too slow. Oh, Michael, congratulations. The first king is the uh, pound text H7. No, oh, it's definitely going to be played then. You're getting there, finally. Yeah. Oh, now it's queen G2. 
do lado com de tumor. Well, it's hard to say which one will be played. I think Pawn takes H7 is the right move here. For some reason, yeah. I believe. Now, Queen D5 looks pretty good, too. But why would you exchange Queens? I don't think that Black's attack is so dangerous at, at this moment. Why doesn't have any attack? He has to create some chances. <coughs> but how? Queen G2 is logical move here. So Queen G2 and Pawn takes H7 have same valuation. And very close, queen d5. For sure, one of the three moves will be played. The only thing what's scary is he never took pawn in h7 before, so. Yeah. Maybe he, yeah. Maybe he's yeah. Now in. yeah, that speaks volumes. And what about some crude moves like. Queen takes d6. Is that uh, impossible? Hmm. Uh, what about rook d8? That would be the problem with that. Okay. Now, now I'm satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, um, what are we looking at? Uh, let's look at the leaders. Marian Tadarachi is 3,400 in two rounds. Marcelion, 2331. Lars Horsmich, 1634. Nenad Rabulia, 951. Rastislav Petkov is 899. Yuri Slodonchinga, 863. Aaron Caesar, what? okay. And no wings, everybody expected to take H pound. Okay, yeah, that actually what I said earlier was wrong, because uh, twice Orkin has played a very unusual move. So probably knight should take and protect pawn on d6. Yeah, when he took on uh, f4, he took with the bishop instead of the knight, and Stockfish was wrong about that, and Stockfish was way wrong about this. Yep. Ivan Caesar, uh, he put 100 crowns on uh, take h7, but obviously it didn't happen. Okay, so now, now queen d5 comes handy to yeah. stop, stop attack, so not black's attack, and trying to exchange queens. Yeah, that's probably why he yeah. took that way. Uh -huh. Um, mm, might as well activate the F rook. Yeah, another hint, uh, obviously, queen d5, uh, very unlikely, will be played. But rook b e8 is quite an interesting move. But I put uh, crowns on rook <coughs> f to e8. Yeah. It's very natural to move the b rook. Yeah, it's logical. You you will take queen on e6 if exchange is coming, and you're attacking e4 pawn. Okay, so it's done. So now what? It's about time to take pawn on d6, eh? Another idea is you can take. Mm. Oh, there is a hint. Rook e3. 
9 takes d6, queen takes d6. Mm, very interesting. I like knight d6, you first should, then ask the questions. Yeah. I agree with you, but I didn't choose it. I probably should have. I choose knight takes d6, but now first king is rook d3. Oh, Gadir, Gadir left. Yeah, he figured out that it's too complicated for him <laughs> to touch up the Marian to the Dutch 3500 crowns. So, he did decided not to... Or, to maybe he's this. still at the uh, wedding celebration and he was just looking on his iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> so, first hint is still creeping out uh, Rook E3. I don't plan that move for some reason. But, um... It's not a very human move, is it? Yeah. What's the point? Well, the point actually is to keep e4 pound and boot. Logical. Marian put crowns on knight takes d6. Same as me. It ain't happening six. after he thought this long. I don't think. Oh, Orkin has played the uh, mainline move after the deep thing, but I think the odds on knight takes d6 are going down the longer he's thinking. Yeah, it's too natural move to, to, to think that long on it. Um, but now I like rook e3 more and more. I mean, it allows you to keep uh, pressure on pawn d6, which you can take probably next move. But, very important thing, it... Um, protects e4 pawn. Well, in any case, it uh, seems to me that white's position is better. Black has to fight for a draw. Okay, so now there are two kings all over the place, knight d6. And queen e6. Rook e3 is no longer considered. Ha! How wrong I am. It's right there. Number one hint. Oh, what? And it's down to 12 minutes. And, um, Wow! Oh, hey, it wow. was actually. Wow. I'm so confused. Hmm. All right. Now we have two moves, rook b4, keep pressure on e4 pawn, and of course uh, queen takes d5. Yeah, I could do it maybe queen d5 and then rook b4. That's possible too. What else? Rook B, G8, protecting G6 pawn. Mm, yeah, and that's possible move too. Okay, Rook B4 was actually played. So is Ryan going to take ever on E6? Why not? It's about time to simplify. Bishop d6 is another possibility too. Okay. What else? Rook c1. I don't grasp that move for sure. Threatening queen takes d6. <clears throat> I think it's a coin flip between bishop takes d6 and rook d e1. But what do I know? Yeah, both moves are possible. I'm surprised doubling rooks isn't on the stockfish list. No. 
Seems to me like the natural follow-up to Rook E3. Yeah, yeah, if you decided to uh, play uh, and keep E4 on, why not to follow up on that? White is still better in most variations, but nothing the size of yet. That's the game. The exposition is stable and probably defensible. A leaderboard is about the same. Marian Tadarashi is, is in a very good lead. Macedon is in second, Blas Kosmic, Yuri Slatovinchenko, Minat Ragulia, Rostislav Pitko, Ivan Caesar, and Peter Nuri as main contenders. Yeah, Finally, Bishop takes D6 was played, and we are expecting must be. I'll say rook e4. And queen e5. In the meantime, Ivan Caesar won big 509 crowns, same as uh, Marcelion and Minandra Bulepita, 127 crowns. Okay, so rook takes. Now is the choice between bishop c5 and queen c6. Okay, let's just lock the clock. 304 rounds and bus cost me 76. <laughs> takes d6, which one? Probably rook 8. I don't think anyone can be worse on 50 50s than I am. Well, yeah, so if the position about equal, there's how much changes to place. Oh my god, I got it wrong again. <laughs> I, I, I am the world champion of losing 50 50s. <laughs> That's amazing. So there is a choice between bishop c5 and bishop f4. Rook takes e6. Probably not going to be played, but could be. Okay, bishop c5 was played, and now the rook at Knight g5, rook takes e3, what are other ideas? Rook e5, also possible. So, what's your preference here, Mike? Probably rook takes rook. Yeah, why not to simplify? You know, I like to move to knight g5. Oh, so it was played, actually. Okay, so myself and Marcelo won 454 pounds each. Nenadra Bulia won 114, so is Ismail Vidal. Okay, so knight g5 was actually played. It's about time to take a look. 
Then you have Yuri Solodovichin and Marcelio, 296. Ninadra Bulia, 74 crowns. And Carlos Santana Martinez, 15 crowns. So oh, hey, come it? over! <laughs> <laughs> Every time I, I see that name, Carlos Santana. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I've been <laughs> So before is uh, almost begging to be played, yeah? Of yeah. course, it was played. Okay, so we have choice between rook e5, knight e4 we have. Yes, e4 was played. So now we are expecting probably rook d5 or knight d6 and and bishop d4. I like knight d6. Why not to keep simplifying position? But rook d5 probably has best chances to be seen. What's your favorite movement? I think rook d5 makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I put some crowns on rook d5. But knight d6 I, I like just as well. But you can choose only one move, right? The third king, believe it or not, bishop g1. I'll be very surprised if you will see bishop g1. But everything is possible. Somebody will put five crowns on bishop g1 and he will grab the pot. 1360 crowns, why not? Well, the position is still alive. Why this? Still playing, trying to win this position, and Black will try to defend. Now the first thing is knight d6, and very close second rook d5, and same valuation as bishop g1. So bishop g1 is scripting as a more and more possible move. I wish I would put five crowns on bishop g1. Now, Orton has to be careful about his time management. Yes! Done! And no winners. I said, just a minute, a second ago, oh I said, I think I would put five crowns on Bishop G1, and I didn't. Oh, stupid. Okay, so what's now? Rook E5 is logical here. King of seven is distant seconds, same as rook e8. No, rook e5 is very much enough. Definitely stops advance of uh, b pawn and attacks a knight. And maybe even h5 pawn is not very healthy here. What's your favorite knight? Oh, he's going to play Rook E5. Mm -hmm. I'd like to compliment both guys today. Um, they're playing very well. And it's not the easiest time control in the world. I'm very, very uh, impressed with uh, what Dominguez has done today so far. Yes, yes. Very, very stable, very nice, aggressive play. And so far, he's doing okay. Yeah. Especially after rook e5, the hint shows that white has very, very little advantage after that. Very small advantage. Well, 
the Bowser uh, possibilities here. He's taking his time to think. Well, he has some extra time, so he can afford it. Let's put it this way. <coughs> I think Orkan uh, could play Rook G5 on previous move. He would have better advantage. Yeah. Bigger advantage. Yeah. Rook E5 was played. And, um, so what to do? Knight E3 is the first hint. Ninety-four, ninety-six. Mm, just maybe. Okay, ninety-three was played, and Massilio won two hundred fifty crowns. Minatra Bulia and Ismail Vidal won sixty-three crowns each. Is it possible to take on an H five? Sure, but it's dangerous. Okay. So now the point is that White can play 95, right? Yeah. And tomorrow's going to be interesting because this is looking like a draw. Yes, yes, it's getting there slowly but surely. Okay, so what's now? King of 7 is the first hint. And Bishop e5. And rook h1. Ooh. Rook h1. It's very adventurous move, rook h1, because pawn b will definitely will come to life. Uh, bishop e5 is not move, and rook f5 is possibility. Let's take a simple move, king f7, and then even king e6. Talk to the king, and see what happened. Black has some counter chances, he has these two advanced pawns. G and H. Gary and Harry. Oh, wow, done. H1 is there, but that could be dangerous. So, King C2 is a natural move here. B5, of course, is a move to consider. I think he shouldn't hesitate bagging the bishop. You will take bishop, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So knight takes or pawn takes? What's your preference? Good question. Yes. It's a question of question. Thousand dollars question. And for some reason I like pawn takes moves in there. Me too. Mm, it's the first thing, by the way, now. Wow. It's pawn just a little bit more advanced. Yes. So is it time to start moving Boris? No, nothing wrong with this uh, King C2. Oh, King A2 is first thing now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about now? Oh, D5, I think, should be just considered. Okay, B5 was played finally. So now Black must start worrying about the spawn. Where's the knight going? Good question. Ha, huh, you can go to d6, that's kind of clever. Yes, it's possible. <laughs> Rune up to 5 is the move. Rook 
H1 was probably not the best known ingredients. And well, you tied up the Bishop on G1, but Bishop on G1 was not threatened. In the meantime, your rook is somewhat out of play, but it keeps busy rook and Bishop on G1. Okay, so maybe, maybe it's not so bad. So knight d6 is a possible move. Knight c5 is also good. And king f7. I, you know what? King f7 probably possibly nothing wrong with this move. Well, no, I'm not sure. But king f7 b6. Mm. Okay, Master Leon on big 619 crowns. Wow. And another ruler, a vast cost, much under 55 each, and Carlos Santana Martinez. Oh, yeah, <laughs> come over. <laughs> yeah, you like, you like. <laughs> <laughs> so, is B6 coming now or not? Yeah. Okay, done. Okay, now he must. Definitely play something like ninety six or rook h five. Uh, you know what? Now I'm scared that white will win this position now. Well, your move's coming now. <laughs> no, well, you can you can just take on g6. However, king a2 looks or king c2 looks like the moves to be sheared. So where did black lose this? A rook h1 in my opinion. Yeah, I think so. That okay. was a sudden change of uh, the world position. I, I think, okay, the idea of that move was to tie up bishop g1, but you, you tie up your rook, and what's more value? Bishop or a rook? Yeah. Good point. So that bishop g1 move, which was a little bit strange, actually uh, paid off because it got Guillermo to respond. <laughs> Yeah, true, true. It lured uh, his rook to h1, <laughs> but it wasn't necessary, though. Right. And I think in the previous move, uh, maybe, just maybe, instead of knight d6, it was possible to play rook h5 and d5, but no, it's, it's probably too, too little, too late. Well, White still has to do some work here. Position is... So the king chose a true king a2 is the strongest move. Uh, rook 6 probably doesn't do much. King c2, but I would prefer king a2 because it doesn't do all checks. However, how wrong I think c2 was to Okay, so let that a little bit of a business space. Of all the king of suits. Of course. Now, the king is king beats me. Do you really need the king in this position? Maybe. Well, if that's the case, then uh, black has some fighting chances by advancing his uh, F, pawn, H pawn, whatever it might be. So what else is to be considered here? In the meantime, oh look, there is a change of leaders. Marcel Leon is in first place. 4,643 crowns, Marian in second, Vasco is in third, Yuri Soltovnichigov is in fourth, and Nenata Bulli is in fifth. Okay, 
It's time to start doing something with your phones. <coughs> or to play rook h4 to stop a white king from advancing. What do you think? Rook h5, maybe. Why does it matter where the rook goes? Does it matter? <clears throat> the hints prefer rook h4, for sure. f5 is no longer here. Right. Oh, f5. Yeah, he is going to play f5. It's his only I, chance. This huh? is his only chance. Yeah, to show some tears. And okay. he didn't take and it. Ask you on one big, it was for him then the one big. Oh my god. Seven. That's it unbelievable was, too. And Novak Pizzelia won 149 crowns. Okay, so what what white is going to do here? Bishop C5 maybe or check? What to say? I think Bishop C5 check looks like this move. Rook e1 check. I'm, I'm not sure about that move. Yeah, I don't think. Does the opposite of what you want to do here? You want to keep the king cut off if you can. So I was thinking of rook c1. Okay, so well, that was played. And now you must right. play knight c7. Yes. Rook e5. Oh, newcomer Alexis Gomez is on the board. Wow, how huh? so quickly? Oh, okay, so this should be four as a box, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, certainly. Okay, <coughs> the fuck is still on. It's not uh, easily in position yet. Now, will you please play f5? Oh. And why not? Otherwise, the game's over, isn't it? Yes, f5 is expected. Is Alec Chess talking to Jesus or Jesus? <laughs> now, Rick, she won. Although, he might play King A4. I love Rook C1. <clears throat> there it is. Too little too late. Well, F4. Right? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Black's not busted here? Really? What does Rook D4 do? I don't agree, Stockfish. I don't think that really helps. Mm, yeah, that's over. Even after Rook D4? What does Rook D4 do? Oh, it shields the king. Yeah. Well, rook d4 fights rook c7 with rook d7, I guess. Wow. Well. Indeed. Good for everybody that had that move. Good for you guys. <laughs> rook c6 wins the game now. Yeah, rook c6 is very strong. Unbelievable.
Well, Orkin is amazing. Bishop G1 wins the game. <laughs> yeah, Rook G1 won the game and Rook H1 lost the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now what to do? I don't know. What is going on here? Oh boy. Rook G6 is the only move not to resign right away, right? Well, I don't know if he sees it that way. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It works. Yeah, that is what he's going to do. Because he gets the uh, rook back with the uh, 984 check. That's the whole reason for playing rook d4, wasn't it? Now he's hesitating. Yeah, the check, rook c6 was very strong move. Because uh, if rook c7 right away, then rook d7 will keep you in the game. It's just that you have to give up exchange. And now you're still technically in the game. You still have two pawns, f and h, but it's lost. Too little, too late. Yeah. So, Master Leon is. Uh, definitely in first place with a big head up, 5,379 crowns. Marin Vidarach is in second, Lux Horseman third, Yuri Sodovichinka fourth, and Minat Rabuli fifth. The same so, uh, as every week. Oh, well. Amazing. It's really amazing. This is not easy. Well, he still has um, over four minutes left, and uh, Abdul has um, about three minutes left. But I think time is not going to be a crucial factor in this game. You know, Yuri was dominating in these contests for a while. Yeah, yeah. So, how good are Matsu Leon, Marion Tudorachi, and Blas Kosmach? I mean, serious, serious players. Um, Blas Kosmach is doing always well in this contest. Marion Tudorachi, there are a lot of contests with him, was among the leaders. Matsu Leon is always among the leaders. So, no surprise here. And, of course, Ninadra Bulia. Yeah. Just formidable predictor and player. Yeah, that was played. What else? Okay, we have a four sequence now. Now, uh, these moves here. Oh, should it? Bishop, Bishop takes is the only move. Yep. And then we just uh, go down to a pawn ending. Simplest as it can get. Yeah. Yeah, Black would have to give up his knight, and that will close the curtain. Absolutely. Yeah, easy win. Yes. Move is also easy. Oh, 
it's interesting what what we'll be playing here. Nice! Rostislav Petkov won 492 crowns, Michael Barron 123, and Dusan Lovich 25. Well done! Okay, so that was expected. And now King the Five, I think. Next, everything is locked down. Yeah, and I've, we've seen Orkin in this type of position before. Yes, he's forbidden. We've also seen him blow it in positions like this, but he's not going to blow it today. Not this one, no. So what do you think? Is uh, Orkan going to take it easy? Oh, no, no. I think even if he gets uh, an equal position tomorrow, he'll still try to win. <laughs> so you like King G7 or King G5? King G7 was played, wow. I'm terrible in the 50-50s. Okay, so... Uh, the B4 is a reasonable move. Yeah. So is KA6. It's not that even in the games. I know. I can't get the big payoff like the rest of these guys. That was only uh, 212 crowns. Mm -hmm. Mm, these guys pick moves at stock for his picks and they get like 800 crowns. I don't get it, man. That's the way this contest is, though. Very, very tough. Well, now we are King C6, King C8. Yeah, I'll be wrong on this one, too. All right, everyone, I took King C8, so it's going to be King C6 for sure. Ah! <laughs> and I get 130. Yes, crowns. well done, Mike. Kidding. Never give up. Yeah, good. That's right. Never now, give up. now the moves are really <laughs> difficult to, to pick up. So now, now, now is really difficult to, to choose the moves. Very difficult. H6. Um, Why would he play H6? That's very funny. H5 was played. And he's going to play. It's about time to play Bishop C7, is it? Yeah, Bishop G3 might be uh, a good idea too to stop the pawns. Yeah. Definitely the move to be feared. Yeah, I think that enhances Black's feeling of hopelessness. Oh, look at another hint. It was, <laughs> it was uh, Bishop H2 was another hint. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there are no moves. The black side of moves. Yeah. Meeting 27. <laughs> no, King A7. What? Oh. Okay, why did he move the bishop back then? I, I, I saw a star. Yeah, I was like, to put on this move. Well, how does that make any sense after Britain? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> and Oyakova. Sasha Star, Ninod, and Carlos Santana. Wow. You guys are just too good. Now what? Uh, bishop H2, Bishop H2. I have no idea what to play here. <laughs> Kerning um, A4. I mean A7. Why did I say A4? I don't know. K, K7. Yeah, seems to me a very logical move. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Ten sixty-five. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, you might just play H three. Okay, H three was played, but <laughs> Black is still running card of moves. Yeah, as a matter of fact, all he has to do is move his king back. It's kind of funny. Yeah, even King A8 is reasonable. Oh. King 226 crowns. So what's now? Yeah, that is, that is the question. That is a very good question. There is no now. Now is over. Why is he playing on? So you have to predict either F4 or H2. Which one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I'm 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 gonna ride with you on that then. Let's just say H2 because it's closer to getting it. And there we go. Oh, okay. That's the end of story. Proper resignation. And relations to Abdullah for winning this game. Marcelo won his first. Marian to the Russia. Uh, Blast Cosmic is third. Yuri Soldovich got fourth. And another bully fifth. And then I'm in sixth place. Michael Barron seventh. And uh, Ivan Caesar eighth. Okay, let's, let's take a very quick look at the game. Hopefully, Arkin will be joining us. Sure. Get, get him online. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Orkin. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you, Michael. Uh, yeah. That Bishop G1 move was kind of mysterious. We were surprised by that, although Sasha just mentioned it. And uh, you played it, and then it, he reacted to it. And it looks like, wasn't Rook H1 the losing move? Probably. Bishop G1, man? What? Uh, no, oh. after you oh. played Bishop G1, he reacted. What do you think was the losing move, Orkin? I don't understand. What? Where did black go wrong? How did you win? Где была ошибка черных? Где была ошибка черных, да? Ну, не знаю. What was the deciding moment? No, yes. For example, after I, I, I think after uh, when we change queens, yeah. I have been in position. I have strong pawn, and pawn go to for queen e five, e six, e seven. I don't know. No, white position was but more. I better before the game, and I think he never played uh, this third after h three. Oh. In my face, I don't count. Orca, can you move the pieces on the board? Somebody is. <laughs> you see? Yeah. <clears throat> oh. D5, knight, D7, issue of G2. This theory can move. Okay, Bishop, uh, I play one time Bishop G2 and uh, five months ago. Wow. Mm -hmm. Bishop G2. I think it's a nice move. Yes. How bad is to take pawn on G5? G5? Yes, if you take pawn with Bishop, well, how bad is it? No, I have uh, Knight takes E6. And then queen h5 check, queen oh, d5, yeah. it's, it's a typical positional move. Mm -hmm. You don't have uh, bishop g5, I play knight e6, queen g5, h5, and what a uh, better position. Yeah, it's all theory, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, what's happened next? Bishop g2, knight c6. H4, it's not only move, theoretic move, rook, bishop, e3, knight takes d4, queen takes d4, typical most, 
Uh, oh, rook b8? I don't know. The strong move, I think. Rook b8. He won b4. Yeah. A4. I don't know, I play a4, and I now I want to play h5. Maybe, I don't know. H yeah. f4, like the strong move. Rook here. Oh, here I don't, I think I don't have h5 here now. Because he have um, b4 and then a5. Right. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Rook is typical position, uh, typical move for these positions. B4 and E2, A5. Okay, maybe H5. I don't know. Well, you have to build up your attack somehow. No, I I didn't found any. Plan for white. Okay, I know h5 is a typical position, but uh, why a black won't a4, 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 b3, and I think h5 is only move. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, when, when I stay black, have a4, b3, maybe knight c5, then or change queens, uh, queen b6. I don't know. It's fine, before, not e2, e5. Yeah. Queen g2, right? It's queen g2. That was a surprising moment when he took on f4, yeah. and you took with a bishop. I thought that you would take with knight. Yeah. You didn't like it? Okay, bishop g5? No, no, uh, take pawn with bishop instead of knight, uh, with knight instead of bishop. You right. didn't like it? No. Uh, maybe knight takes e4, he has uh, bishop g5. And then you would play maybe knight d5. Knight d5, yes. Or is what not? I lost my d5 pawn, I don't, I'm not sure about this position. Okay, and what if instead of knight d5 you take pawn with a queen on d6? Is that playable? On d6? Yeah. Instead of knight d5 you play queen d6. Is that possible? Okay, okay. okay one, one minute. Here, knight. yes. Queen d6? Yeah. Okay, maybe here queen f6. Well, I don't know, maybe queen f6, after queen takes e6, can I take e6? Yeah, yeah, maybe I don't have that much uh, here. Sorry? And knight d5, yeah, it doesn't give you anything. I'm not sure about this position, I think yeah. like, I have normal position. Bishop h f takes f4 is normal move. It's typical move. Typical move. Yeah, you pressure on g6 pound, yeah. your g pound is protected. Yes, and then I can play. Uh, I would have played knight takes followed by h6. Mm, I okay. love moves. I lost moves. Uh, knight takes d4, okay. Yeah, that's where you play g6. Yes, I play here b6. Okay, okay. Yeah, g6. Now, after you played g6, you never took it h7, which really surprised me. I thought it was the no. idea behind g6. No, g6 is typical move for, 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 uh, for white. Right. Because you never, you never, you never I, broke in that. When I, when I didn't play g6, he had a4, b3. I don't know. I'm not sure about white position. I think... Uh, Okay, what he has here? Time? Bishop, Bishop G4, I think he played, yeah? Yes, he played Bishop G4, but I think it's... I calculate this move. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good move, yes? Where are we? Oh, minimum, I have Rook D5. Uh, 
Actually, actually, you yes. know you have a possible idea H6. If pawn F takes G6, you can try H6. Here? No, here yeah. I have to five. Yeah, I thought he was going to uh, take away the H pawn there, not the F pawn. <coughs> for example, uh, King H8, I have uh, Bishop F5. And yes. uh, what I'm winning. Bravo, Marion. Yeah. Yeah, white is winning. Yeah, yeah, stick with the H pawn. That's right. I don't know, maybe 28? Oh no, could be 8. Yes. Again, I lost most. <laughs> Here after G6, yeah. we played. Yeah. Um, Bishop G4. Bishop G4. Okay, after yeah. Bishop G4, I calcul I calculate which was. First, I calculate A6. But um, I think H6, I don't have any. Because F takes it. Actually, actually, Bishop G4 was suggested by Marian Tudarache, and he was the only one winner on, on that move. Nobody predicted except him. Yeah, I think I think Black is okay on that. I think you did the right thing with Bishop H3. That was Black, a very good move. Black don't have any 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 problems here. I think. Right, right. Bishop H3 was outstanding. Yeah, Marian Tudorachi did very good, yes, with Bishop G4, and he won 1967 crowns. The year Bishop G4 board. is old move, I, know, I think it's typical move for this position. Position of, sure, uh, sure. Position of Bishop, Bishop G4. Mm. And your response and was fabulous. Bishop H3 is definitely right. Okay, I play Bishop H3. Right. I think normally, because after Bishop... Okay, Bishop G4, Bishop H3, and I think after Bishop uh, H5, I have uh, G takes F7. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is very well. I have um, strong tactics here. And he play, and what he play here, Bishop takes H3. I think... Uh, I don't know, Bishop G4 is typical, but I think uh, Bishop G4, uh, after Bishop G4, Bishop, Bishop H3, what a better position then, because my rook stay in H3, yes. and black, black, uh, black, uh, Bishop is strong, so strong than my Bishop, because my, my Bishop stay in you know, F1, uh, F1 and after Bishop H3, uh, my uh, other rook D1 can play. For example, the, for example, rook G1. For example, okay, rook takes if A4. Yeah, I'm not sure about A4, but he, he I think he has maybe okay, not C4. He didn't have yet. Yeah, yes. Uh, then e4 bar tempo plus I think maybe first could yeah. see eight here and then after maybe a4 yeah plus, mm, he has one tempo plus a4 not e4 bishop h bishop a6 not f5 I don't know not f5 I think only more because I didn't see any because uh, I can play when he play B3, it's typical position. I play A takes B3, and B takes, no, A takes B3, I play A takes B3, and black uh, don't have any. Because, 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 for example, you don't have queen A5. Queen C8, king B1. No, 
for example, here right, uh, root history, black has not move not this three takes. I don't know. Queen takes this three. Bishop takes c three. Or here rook rook c three. Black play knight d three maybe. Yes. Or queen e six. Knight d three half here. Black after rook c three. Knight d three. Queen takes d three. Bishop takes c three. Yeah, maybe it was a good practical chance for black. No, it's king one strong. Queen six. Uh, I don't know. Okay, first time I didn't see. Um, I would play queen takes d6, but I see. I think after queen takes d6, uh, white have strong move, black have strong move to rook d8, and when I play, yes, yeah, I lost my rook in d1. Yes. So I played first f takes g takes f7 because when I play queen d5, uh, black have queen takes d5, then uh, it take my pawn in g6. I don't know maybe. Okay, g takes f7 is I think so. Queen d5 is only by the pawn because when I play queen d, for example, now g6, black have Minimum rook d8 here, no? Yes. Or got contact b3. Or oh, 96, 96. Oh no, no, I don't have 96. Black have context h3. Okay. Yes. Queen d5, rook d8, rook d3. I think rook d3 is only no? Because when I play context e6, the rook takes e6. And uh, this six pawn. Okay, rook is real. Rook before. Rook before is strong. Yes, I thought so, that black uh, position is still okay here, defendable. Uh, maybe because because I have double pawn, and uh, blacks blacks very active here. I think bishop takes d6 on the move. I don't have yeah. the knight takes d6. Then bishop takes d6. Rook takes e4. Rook takes e4. Play knight, uh, queen takes d6. Rook takes e6. Okay, I think after. Bishop c5, when he play knight g5, I play rook takes e6, rook takes e6. I think after before, what have been in position? I'm not sure, but I think. <laughs> after I've, uh, I've, uh, I've, maybe I've, rook e5 is possible here. Sorry? Rook e5, uh, rook e5 was uh, possible here. Here? Yeah. Rook e5? What do you want? Um, uh, hold on. Instead of b4, maybe you should have played rook g5. I like b4. You like b4 more. Yeah, maybe b4 better. Okay, I play here. Yeah, rook d5. Uh, no, I, I think he did the right thing, back, for sure. Not a b6 or... I don't know, maybe nine hundred and ninety-six. Ah, look, e two. I don't know, maybe. And you show look e five here? Maybe. Just maybe. I don't know. Maybe look e five. Could. Ninety-four. Ninety-four, maybe. No, I don't know. Yeah, okay. okay. Ninety-four then. We should be right, one. There it is. Yeah. Sir? Okay, oh, so it was amazing. Now the key eight. Okay, now e three. 
Rook H5 not D5. I think I have winning position here. Yeah, well, uh, prob probably you're right. Well, if that's true, then where was his mistake? No, maybe why he he he, he, he give his bishop? I don't understand why he didn't play bishop e5. Okay. For example, for maybe yeah, he must keep the bishop, bishop. And, and then maybe maybe look h1. Why he didn't play? Why he did? Why he give his bishop? I don't understand right. really. Because yeah, when yeah. you give your bishops, yeah, after that, white is winning. Yeah, so rook h1 is indeed the losing move. No, rook h1. Yeah, because it just seemed like it was easy for you after that. E5. So your bishop g1 actually got him to react. <laughs> Normal. <laughs> Bishop g5, bishop b4, f5, rook c1. Okay, I won the first time, rook d4. Okay, I, I, I now I still, when I play rook c7, he play rook d8. Yeah. I, I'm not sure about rook c. Why he play when I play rook c6? Rook c6 rook, was exactly right. When he play queen, rook d6, 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 I don't understand. For example... He has to! For example, here, maybe. No. Okay, okay. Bad. I have been in position. I think. Yes. Here. No, but here maybe some chances here. Maybe rook to b8. Okay, I play. Maybe uh, b uh, b seven. I think it's a winning position. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. No doubt about that, it. That I'm better than uh, when d6. Yeah, you played brilliantly. In queen d6, it was. This guy wasn't easy until Rook H1. I'll tell you that. I thought he I thought he played pretty well until Rook H1. Yes, if it wouldn't be Rook H1, maybe he could defend the position. After that, it was very difficult to defend. Well, anyway, it was a very good game, very good performance. Bravo, Orkin. For for the performance today. And good luck in your game tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yes, thank you, Orkin. Thank you. Okay, thank you. 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 Thank you.